All right, for this next section, um, this is about predicting products of these reactions and then balancing the equations. So looking at this, we have two ionic compounds. So it's gonna kind of um, go back to what types of reactions we have. Two ionic compounds. So this is probably gonna be a double replacement reaction. So let's do this. I'll keep my silver here. So silver is gonna switch anions. It'll go with nitrate. Those are charge balanced, so that's good. There's no phases here, so don't worry about that. So then sodium would go with sulfate, which is SO4 minus two. All right, so make sure you balance the charges to write the formula correctly. Now let's balance this equation. So there are two silvers, we need two silvers. Now two nitrates, two nitrates, two sodiums, two sodiums, one sulfate, one sulfate. Next, these are also two ionic compounds. So I'm gonna keep the cations the same and switch the anions. So again, you gotta know these charges in order to write these formulas correctly when you're doing these. All right, so calcium is gonna stay the same. And you can use your periodic table because we labeled those columns. Now let's balance this. One sulfate, one sulfate, two sodiums, two sodiums, two iodines, two iodines, one calcium, one calcium. Okay, next. So this is nitric acid and calcium hydroxide. So this is an acid-base reaction, or you could run it as a double replacement reaction. And so here, keep the H switch. That's how, this is kind of how I write this. So look, that's water. You can write it as H2O, that's fine. And calcium nitrate there we go okay so now we need to balance it one hydrogen two or one nitrate two nitrates okay there we go uh two hydrogens two hydrogens two hydroxides two hydroxides one calcium one calcium all right turn the page let's continue through the rest of these this one's a bit tricky. Um, calcium carbonate. So this is going to be a decomposition. I'm not sure that you probably can know what this is going to look like, but um, this is limestone or it's Tums um, as the case may be. Uh, but when it breaks apart, it's going to be calcium with one oxygen leaving CO2 gas. So when you put Tums in with something, this is a salt, this is gonna be, you're gonna get the bubbles. So think kind of like Alka-Seltzer bubbles. All right, and we'll just make a note that it is already balanced. Next, two more ionic compounds. So this is once again, um, a double replacement. So I'm gonna keep my cations in the same place switch the anions, NH4 plus one, and Cl minus one. All right, here there's three of these. Now there's three of them, three chlorides, three chlorides, one aluminum, one aluminum, one phosphate, one phosphate, okay? Here, lead and iron three nitrate. Okay, so there's only one anion, but two potential cations. So let's just switch. Now, this is kind of tricky because you don't really have a way of knowing what lead is this. So you can kind of decide, I'm gonna call it lead two, just because that's what I wanna do. 
You could also use lead four and that would be appropriate. And iron is going to be by itself because it doesn't have a partner anymore. So when I do that, let me make sure it's the same way I did it in my answers. Yeah, it is. Okay. So here, one lead, one lead, three nitrates, two nitrates. So we need to do that. We need a total of six nitrates. So that means we need three leads, two irons. Still balances. All right, here, organic compound in oxygen. What kind of reaction is this? I hope you said, Dr. B, it's a combustion reaction. You'd be correct. Products of combustion are always CO2, water, vapor, and heat. So let's balance carbons first. Three. Now we have six hydrogens. Now let's balance the oxygens. I can already tell this is going to be a problem because look, so that's six, nine. We don't have a way to get nine from two. So let's go ahead and double this. When we do that, we should get six and six, the six carbons. So now I have six times two is 12, 12 plus six is 18. Much better. I can get 18 easily. Here we have two potential cations, only one anion. So let's just switch places. This is a single replacement. So four minus two. So we need two of those. And calcium can stay by itself. So all I need are two sodiums. 